Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your MongoDB Atlas with Node.js application in VS Code. So let's start. At first, you have to open your account on MongoDB Atlas. So on the search bar, type MongoDB Atlas. Click on the first link. Click on try free. If you already have an account, you can click on sign in and sign it with Google or your credentials. But if you are for the first time here, then click on try free and make your account. Now enter your name, last name, email, password. Click on agree and then click on create your Atlas account. Now verify your email. Click on verify email. Click on continue. And your mail is verified. Now you have to choose the options as per your choice. After choosing the required options, click on finish. As you can see, it's telling me to create my first cluster. So I will choose the free option because this is the only free one, M0. And then I will keep the provider as it is, the region as it is. The name of the cluster by default is cluster 0. Click on create. Till now, we have created our MongoDB Atlas account. And we have created our first cluster inside project 0 as you have seen. Now, you can create your new project also or you can use this project 0. But I will create a new project by clicking on new project. I will give a name of the project, suppose demo. Then I will click on next. Then I will click create project. As you can see, my project demo is created. Now I will click on create to create my first cluster. Now I will choose the free service which is MO. 512 MB of storage it provides. You can definitely choose M10 or serverless but you have to pay for that. Then the provider I will keep it as it is and the region also. The name of the cluster you can definitely change but I will keep it as cluster 0 for now. Then click on create. Now it's telling us to authenticate our connection by giving the username password. So this is our username. You can definitely change the username of your choice. I will just keep the username as Riju. And the password you can give of your choice which you remember. I will give it admin for now. And then click on create user. This is the first user you are creating. As you can see the username and authentication type password is created. Next. You have to give access to your IP address. As you can see, my current IP address is already added. You can give your new IP address also, but I will keep it as it is. I will let it access my IP address and click on finish and close. Click on go to overview. Now click on database. As you can see, it's showing connection 0, so we have not connected this Atlas database with our Node.js till yet. Now, let's quickly make our Node.js application on VS Code. So, open your VS Code and inside it, open a folder. I am choosing this blank folder, demo1. Inside this folder, I will create another folder named server. Now, I will open the terminal. Go to the server folder cd server and then initialize the node packages with npm init y after npm init y you can see inside the server folder i have packaged a json after that i have to install mongoose and express so npm install mongoose express Mongoose and Express libraries are installed. Now in the package.json you can see the main starts from index.js. So we need to create a file index.js inside this server. So inside server create index.js. At first I will import the Express and Mongoose libraries. So const express require express and const mongoose require mongoose after that i will initialize my express application using the express function const step equals to express now to connect with the mongodb atlas i have to pass the connection string using the function 
mongoose dot connect so mongoose is used to connect a node.js with the mongodb database with schemas and this connect function will help us to connect with the mongodb atlas and inside this i have to pass the connection string so the connection string i will get from here at first make sure that this is the required project demo and inside it click on connect click on mongodb for vs code and copy this connection string then paste it here and in place of this angle bracket password give your password remember what your password was and click on save now to run the express application on a particular port i have to use the function app dot listen and give a particular port number you can give any number but here i will give 3001 and then i will print a message on the console that server is running fine now to run this application i will first install the nodemon because it will automatically restart the application whenever i make any changes and save it so i don't have to restart the application on again and again manually so i will install the package nodemon npm install nodemon after nodemon is installed i will go to package.json and inside the scripts i will add a comma and add this particular command start nodemon index.js so let's save it after adding this remember to add this so that you don't have to run it again and again manually you have to run first time and whenever you make any changes here in the code it will automatically get reflected on the output site now before running this application i have to mention which particular database on the mongodb atlas i want to connect to Previously, I have used this connection string to connect to the MongoDB Atlas, but I have not mentioned which particular database I have to connect. So at first, I will create a database on MongoDB Atlas. So this is my MongoDB Atlas. Here I will click on Browse Collection. As you can see, I have no collections. So at first, I will click on Add My Data. Here I have to create my database. So I will name the database as CRUD and the collection name as test and click on create so i am creating a database named crud and inside that i have one collection named test so in the connection string beside the slash i have to type the name of the particular database i want to connect to so slash crud i am adding here after that let's save it let's run this application by using npm start As you can see, my Node.js application is running and it's telling server is running. Now, if I go to my MongoDB Atlas, you can see my connections is showing zero because for some reason my IP address connection has lost. So I have to click on add IP address again. In your case, if you are doing it simultaneously for you, it will not be lost. But for me, some for some reason it is lost. Now, as you can see, connection 6, it's showing. So, connection is not 0 at least. And now, if I go to browse collections, this particular database we have connected to. Now, let's add a collection. Let's add some data to it. So, what I will do, I will go to my VS Code. And here, I will use mongoose.schema to create a schema. const user schema is equal to new mongoose dot schema and inside this I will add uh, suppose id okay no need to add id it will be added automatically I will type name and the type of the name will be string and then age type of the age will be number Fine, this is my mongoose schema and then using this schema I will create a mongoose model mongoose dot model function I will use now here I have to mention the name of the collection so 
I can give the name of the collection as EMP and Atlas will add an S to it and it will create EMP S as the name of the collection. Beside that I have to enter the schema which I want to use. So my schema, Mongo schema is stored in user schema. So I will enter that. Let's save it. Let's see the changes on the MongoDB Atlas. So this was previously our database CRUD. Inside it, we created a collection test inside MongoDB Atlas. But after that, if I refresh it, you can see a new collection EMPS added to it. Now let's add some data to this collection EMPS. To add some data, I will use const EMP1 and using this model, I will pass some data. In place of name, I will pass my name, Riju Shri, and in place of age, I will pass my age. Let's save it. Now, I have created uh, this data, but I have not saved it on the MongoDB Atlas collection. To save it, I have to use emp1.save. Let's save it after that. Let's go to our MongoDB Atlas. I am refreshing this page. See inside the EMPS collection, the data which I have created and inserted is getting reflected. The name is my name registry and the age is 23. So the data created is reflected here. So that's it for today guys. I have showed you how to connect your Node.js application or Express.js application over Node.js with MongoDB Atlas using Mongoose. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching my video. Have a nice day.